Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A. Thank you for tuning in for another Ali A's quest episode. We're back home. We've got our stuff back. Last episode was pretty damn crazy. We tried to get a fish. Didn't freaking work. Fish don't like us. Damn the fish. One day we will capture them, but unfortunately last episode was just not going to be the case. We got really unlucky, guys. Really wanted to get you guys a fish, we just didn't work out, unfortunately. And it kind of sucks because at the end of the episode we tried to dive underwater. And we died, and uh, yeah, if you guys missed that, it'll be down below in the description. The playlist now does link to the Allier's Quest playlist. For a long time, the link down below in the description for the playlist actually linked to Allier's Adventure playlist. So it's been fixed now, guys. All of the links work. And thank you so much for- wow, something just really scared me. I looked at my right, I was like, what the heck is going on? There's some guy cleaning my windows. I, I'm on the second floor of my house. He's using like a long extender thing. To, geez, I thought he was going to be looking in my window and just watching me record. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you guys for all the support. If you keep on hitting 10,000 likes, it's amazing. 10,000 like goal is just really, really awesome. And since you guys keep on hitting it, I really, really appreciate it. But this episode, basically, screw fish. That's what I'm saying. Screw fish. They're big bum bums. We don't like them. We need to, put a, we need to work out a place. To... Turtle? You're huge! Oh my gosh, look at him! He's absolutely crazy. Can I put it down there? I'm just gonna put some fish bowls down. Alright, I wanted to put it- I wanna- can I push it? No. Mm. I wanna push it down here. I wanna put it down here. Here we go. Okay, just chill by the window, I guess? Let's put one over there. What the heck? Why is the fish bowl dying? There's nothing in the fish bowl. Okay, well that one survived. <laughs> Dude, look at the size of this turtle! Look at him! He's like my own personal head, sh head shelter. Look at him, what an absolute hero. Dude, turtles are literally the best thing within this. So, this episode, um, I actually want to finally try and get an elephant. And I also actually want to use one of these. Now, I know I don't have a second backup, and I said I was only going to break the totem pole if I had a second backup. Um, but I can't be bothered to go and get the second one. We will get it eventually. It's in the jungle area where all of the goblins are. But I want to make something with it, just because it'd be absolutely awesome. So let's go and grab this, and uh, make something cool with it. Before that, I'm just going to drop off a load of these useless items we don't quite need. I'm going to put some of the eggs away. We've got shark egg, spotted snake egg. We've got some fish eggs, but I can't put them in the shark tank, because the shark will eat them. Because <laughs> he's a big fatty mate. And we've got medallion to actually tame the awesome tigers, or the big cats. And I'm going to add the iron to there as well. And we're going to need a lot of his other stuff as well. So it should be pretty damn awesome. We're pretty stacked up. So with this, um, you've seen that we can make the lightning staff. You can make a few things, I believe, with this. But uh, one of the very cool things that you can make is actually... Dun, dun, dun! Flame blade! Flame blade! Dun, dun, dun! Flame blade! It's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Now, it's not the strongest sword in the world, but it's a 100% fire aspect. And um, it just looks absolutely badass. And I was like, you know what? There's a new sword. I need to make it, man. I need to have this new sword in my life. So now we've got a new sword. Um, we can go and kick butt with that. And I also need to get all of the stuff ready to try and tame an awesome elephant. Because I've been saying for ages I want to get an elephant. And I just haven't had a chance to do it. So these cows are coming along nicely too. Let's see much, how much wheat do we actually have left? Ah, huh, 38. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I believe that the farm needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tending to. Let's close that behind me. Yep, the farm. The farm, the farm, the farm. Look at this thing. It needs to be replanted, so we've got to load more wheat. Farm's coming on quite nicely. Wheat's looking pretty good. The melons are looking pretty good, and the carrots are looking pretty good. Since all the carrots are here, we may as well just pick them up, I reckon. Otherwise, it's going to be there for ages. <laughs> oh, look, it's like an underground area. You have a secret entrance to somewhere underground the farm. Underground, the, yeah, underneath the farm. That'd be pretty badass. Pretty badass. All right, cool. We've got loads of stuff. You know, I may actually keep these carrots on me. Just another food source. Why not? So, what I do need to do is go and... I should. I could even get a sugar cane or I could just... I could get an elephant. I think we should go for the elephant first. Um, okay. So, we've got some sugar cane. Not sure how much sugar we're going to get from it. Ah, it only gives you one each. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a go. Let's. I say we give it a go. So, how do I then... I think if I do that... 
Wow, five sugar lamps. All right, we need to go on a huge grind then. We need to go on a huge grind for sugar cane. Uh, because we've got five sugar lamps, and we really need... People keep on texting me, man. People keep on texting me. <laughs> we really need a lot more sugar uh, than that. I believe about 10 will be good. So we should be okay. Um, there is also, we need to put on some fences around here and put some fences on our jungle bridge, which we made last episode, which is pretty awesome. Links between the two awesome areas that we've been wanting to link towards. Uh, link between, sorry. Um, so let's go and get this and then we can get ourselves an elephant. The other thing is we do need to find a baby elephant. It has to be a small one. So we got to make sure that we're finding the right type of elephant as well. I hear you birds, but we're not interested in you. We're only interested in the elephants. And if we can't get the elephants to work, I'll save some sugar cane and we could try and tame a bear. Because a bear would be awesome. I really want a bear. Uh, where are we going? Well, I thought, isn't... Okay, here we go. I was about to say. This, this land's a lot more open than I remember it being, to be honest. We also need to save those villagers, but I've never seen them. Like, I met a few of you guys at uh, an event last weekend, Gfinity, and some of you guys were like, why haven't you found any villagers? And I was like... Because uh, I just haven't been able to find any. <laughs> I just haven't been able to uh, to find any. I'm gonna hmm, should I replant some of these? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We've got 16. It's a pretty good number, to be fair. Um, but yeah, villagers are just like part of the castle. The main castle is just there, as you can see. Um, and if you find them and bring them back, it fills up your worthiness like dramatically. But I just haven't been able to find them. We've we've ventured pretty far. It'd be funny if we now just go and find them. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a uh, some random villagers just over here. They don't look like uh, villagers, I don't think. I think they just look like normal people that I kind of just lost, basically. <laughs> um, but that is a really useful way of filling up your worthiness bar. What the heck is that? The heck is that, mate? Got some pandas. Hmm. Got another bear. Tempted to say that it's probably be maybe more efficient to get the uh, pandas first Just because of how much sugar you're gonna need And I'm also worried that maybe we'll use the sugar cane on an elephant that isn't a baby Which would kind of hey look there's a panda up there. There's a panda up there. You know, what? I'm really tempted really tempted to go up to this panda guys Hey, buddy. I see you sitting down. I think if you're sitting down. Hey look He's coming over which means he likes it all right, so I'm going to give this to him. <gasps> Done. Done, mate. One. One. Let's go. Gotta be. Gotta be. What should I call him? Panda. Panda. What should I call him? PT the panda. Wait, haven't we already have somebody? Haven't we already got a pet called PT, maybe? I'm trying to think. Um, let's just call him. Pro. I'm so bad at names. Let's call him Panda the Panda. I know it's rubbish. I know it's rubbish. But look at him. So cute. He's so cute. Here, have another one. Have another one. I'm feeling so nice. How cute he is. All right, so we've got ourselves this. Now we've got to take him home. Bro, you coming with me? Oh, he's chewing on his bum. All right, come with me. Come with me. Get up. Get up. I'm not dragging you along on your bum, mate. I'm not dragging you along on your bum. How do I make him sit up? Come on, stand up. Stand up. There we go. Come with me. Come with me. I'm going to take you with me. It's better work. Wow. He's disrespecting the lead, dude. Going to disrespect the lead. There is another item you can make to pull them along. And I think that's more effective. So I'm going to check very quickly. Okay, so I quickly checked. And there is another way that you can tie him up. Well, not really tie him up. That's harsh if I say tie him up. But you can um, control him. I don't think the lead really works. It's quite like... It is from, like, normal Minecraft, of course. The sun's going down, so I'm going to rush home. <laughs> we need to save our beautiful panda. And uh, is there any way I can get home quicker? Not really. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't put it up on his head. The lead that I've got here that we'd normally use in normal Minecraft isn't quite strong enough. The panda's a pretty, pretty bit of a badass, to be honest. But you can make, I believe it's just called rope. And uh, you just use that with uh, string, five pieces of string, and that should then allow us to control him and take him home to be ours. <laughs> Make him ours and fill up our zoo even more. He's a perfect addition to the zoo. I'm actually absolutely loving it. Make sure I'm going home the right way. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. 
Unfortunately, the waypoints always get reset because the waypoints don't like us. <laughs> the waypoints are evil. It's probably a good time actually to head back home since it is getting dark. But dudes, we've got a panda. How sick is that? I'm going to try and get a panda and an elephant within one episode. I always try and make these episodes as interesting as possible for you guys. Uh, I know the last one was a little bit... Uh, a little bit annoying when the fish just wouldn't want to be caught and uh, we just we, we died at the end. That was really frustrating and I apologise guys. But um, we've got so much more stuff to do within this series. It's awesome. We've got different realms to visit. We still haven't gone to the nether yet. We've still got loads more animals. We've still got to build our own kingdom. Just take that in for a second. We've got to build our own kingdom. How awesome is that? Uh, so that's going to be sweet. We've got a turtle. Dude, these turtles are just next level, dude. I'm so tempted to just have like a, a turtle like area. No joke. So one of these should contain. Yes. Got loads of it. Nice, nice, nice. So this is what you can make. Wait, what? So guys, unfortunately, I checked the mods. It's really weird. Basically, within the, the animals mod, you should be able to forge a rope like that and that rope lets you control the animals uh, a bit like a lead but it lets you control all animals for some reason it won't let me make it either my the mods out of date or i think maybe some of the mods may be overlapping because i've got a rope mod which means you can actually i'll, I'll show you i'll sleep and show you guys but really annoying i'm not sure why there's an overlap i have to work out if something's up if something's out of date or not but um there's a mod with a which is called rope this is called rope um, but the item I want to make is also called a rope. So I believe this works a little bit differently. I'm not sure how this works, actually. Can this, I, I thought, can you just place it down? Can you, can you actually, maybe you can grab an animal with it. Let me have a look. I've never actually used it before. Let's see. I thought you could just build stuff with it. Okay, no. Okay, well, we've got, <laughs> we've got some rope here. Can we place it down like that? I thought you could just climb up stuff with a rope. We've made some random rope, which which we don't even need. Cheers, rope. Great help, old chap. Which now means that um, the panda's stuck. Because I'm not sure we can bring him over. <gasps> All I wanted to do was control the panda. <clears throat> but what I did realise is that I think with these sugar lumps, I can actually heal animals. So I think if I give... Okay... Oh gosh, no. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. <gasps> I didn't mean to hurt you. I believe with sugar lumps you can heal some animals as well. Quite an expensive way of healing animals, but it does work. So let's go and check out the panda. If the panda doesn't want to uh, be brought home, I'll have to have a look in between this episode and next episode if I can get the rope to work and look at my mods maybe and see what's not working. It kind of sucks, man. That's the thing. When you use, like, this mod pack, I think it's like 15 mods or something. So sometimes things overlap and don't work. Hey, buddy, let's see if I can tame you. You look like a friendly one. No? Do you even want this? Or do you want something bigger and better? No, he's not even eating it. I think he may want meat. Do you want meat, bro? Hey, bro. No, he just generally doesn't want to be a friend. I see how it is, buddy. I'll go back to my panda. I like the panda. Ooh. <laughs> look what I found. I found myself a random jumpy friend. I found myself a slime. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to kill your brethren. I have to kill your brethren so I can get myself some slime. Thank you, buddy. Ha, ah, that's annoying, man. That is annoying. Oh, well. Got to put it behind us. Got to put it behind us and uh, work through our issues. And uh, maybe I can just use the lead in it. Maybe it's just being a little bit a little bit unhelpful. Maybe this wasn't interested in Ali. Yeah, yeah. Let's cook you up, brother. Let's cook you up. Do you get any food from me? Oh, I wanted food. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Thank you. I'm going to get rid of that, actually. Oh, wrong item. I'm an idiot. I thought it was going a little bit slowly. Here we go. Look what we found. We found just the right item that we need, actually. Just the right item that we need, baby. Okay, thank you. I'm going to grab all of this. This elephant, man. This elephant's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be an interesting one. Oh, this dude looks pretty awesome. Oh, no. We've already got one of you, bro. We don't need another one of you, snake. We already know what you are. We aren't interested. And we've got 26. That's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad at all. 26 divided by 5. Another 5. Or oh, divided by 4, actually. So, 4 times... Yeah, it's about 5, actually. It's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find this panda and see if he wants to be dragged home. It's annoying because I think, like, even the elephant may not be dragged back very well with the, um, with the lead, necessarily. Good thing is it worked on the Komodo... Did it work on the Komodo dragon? No, the Komodo dragon we hatched. It definitely worked on some of the animals, though. Panda! 
<laughs> my buddy, my buddy, old pal, how are you doing? How are you? Oh, it's actually just named a pair. Look at it. A pair? A bear, sorry. So apparently these guys can be led around with a lead. Like, it specifically says that they can be led around with a lead. So, hey, it works. You just gotta be careful. And even if it didn't work, what I could have done is, um... Pull out this. So I think the lead will stay intact. But if I show him this, get him to. Oh, come on, stand up, you fatty. Stand up. Do I have to drag you on your bum the whole way for real, dude? Look, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> He's like, they see me rolling, they hating. I just don't. I don't think I can bring him up this gap. Like I think it would get stuck. Wow, dude, you're such a you're such a troll. You know what we should do? Since we can't, what we should do? I think I got some sticks as well. I've got some. What I was thinking is making like a little bit of a base for him. Oh, I've got this. Yes, perfect. All right, so what I'm going to do, just out here in the open, out here in the open, is grab ourselves probably four lot, maybe five lots, actually, ten of this, and make just like a little base, not too big. Not too big, but just big enough to fit him in. I like that. And uh, then we can just keep him here for the mean for the meantime. Just so we know that he's healthy. Just so we know he's okay. Buddy. Oh, look, he's gone up. He's gone up. Let's see if we can... Okay, he just automatically sits like a big fatty. Come with me, buddy. Come with me. I'm dragging you along your bum again. <laughs> In you go. <laughs> You're being trapped, mate. You're being trapped. So actually, the panda is the only, um, only animal that can actually... The only bear, sorry, that can actually be tamed as well, which I didn't realize. So that's quite cool. Now, I think he may want some of this stuff. Oh, can I not plant it down? What can I thought you can plant it down? Maybe I need some water to plant it down. Let's have a look. Apparently they like sugar cane, so we know they like sugar cane, but huh, so it's got it's gotta be right next to water. Hopefully he won't die. I'm, I'm worried he's gonna die. Our beautiful new pet. Oh, we got some water right here. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look, it's a it's a bear. <laughs> Don't hurt me, bear. So what I can do. It's quite small. I feel bad. I feel like I'm caging him. <laughs> well, I am caging him, really. There isn't really any way of getting around that, for that fact. Um, is do this. If I get rid of this, and then fill that like that, and then fill that like that, he's got one of the most advanced, he's got one of the most advanced little homes that any of our animals have, to be honest. There you go, panda. You better enjoy your home. I custom made it for you, bro. Custom made it for you. So hopefully he's all good there. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, it's a bit, a bit out of the way. It's not right next to our home, but it's in a good position. And at least he's now ours. <laughs> so the panda, as I said, is the only one we can tame. So we've tamed one. Good job, buddy. I love you. I love you, panda, the panda. Don't feel I don't. I just got to go out on a bigger, better mission and try and find an elephant now. Try and find an elephant. So let's turn all of this into sugarcane. Let's turn that one into sugar cubes. Then we've got ten. This is where we've got to find a baby elephant. They've got to be small. We found a mammoth, which is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know if it's possible to tell if an elephant is a baby or not. I think it's quite a tough thing to, like, read. Unless it is done by size, then I'm not sure. I am not sure. But we should have. We should actually have a new Minecraft series coming out soon. Um, not your standard survival series. It's going to be a little bit different. But I think you guys are really going to like it. It's just taken a long time to work on it, a long time to sort out the logistics. But we're almost there. I'm hoping the first episode, like, the first episode is supposed to be out at the beginning of the month, but that hasn't quite happened, unfortunately. Um, but I think the first episode, maybe? I don't want to say it this weekend just in case, but that's what we're aiming for is this weekend. If not, hopefully while I'm away in Germany, um, it should be pretty exciting. Just want to let you guys know, for any of you guys who are interested. I think we found the first elephant over here, right? Because I think my house is just um, there. How far away is it? Yeah, I can see the top of the house. I can see the top of the house. Wow, I'm getting hungry already. Okay, bro. I see how it is. Let's go and see if we can find ourselves an elephant. See if we can tame it. The only thing is, how do we bring the elephant home? <laughs> how do we bring him across the big waves of water? How are we supposed to know? Okay, so I think this is where we first found it. We got the panda. We made him a little bit of a home. Not the bestest home, I know. But it's a good home. It's a good home. <laughs> a home he should cherish forever. This is, I'm pretty sure we found him here. Maybe he died. <laughs> Maybe he fell down a hole. <laughs> if not, there should... Oh, hello. No, nope, that's a donkey. <laughs> wow, he's got 28 health. He's a bit of a beast. 
Look at you, old fella. <gasps> Tree man! We've never actually killed one of them. Let me kill one of them for you, just to show you guys what it's like when you kill them. Uh, did my thing break? Oh no, my axe is there. So you can only kill these guys by using an axe. I feel kind of bad because they're such awesome creatures. Maybe I shouldn't kill them. But look, if you kill them... Oh my! <laughs> Run! Run! Okay. Okay. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Not gonna hurt them. Hopefully he's feeling a little bit nicer about things now. Hey buddy, can we make can we make it no 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 He's annoyed. He's mad annoyed. He's still running after me. <laughs> he's still running out help. I just want to show you guys what it's like to kill one. Is he still running after me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well that was a little bit of an adventure in itself. You see how far he flung me up? He almost killed me. He almost killed me in one fling. Oh, i got to stay away from that dude. Seriously, got to stay away from him. Alright, at least he's out of the way a little bit now. Let's see if we can find an elephant. Cheebus. <laughs> Lesson of a day. Don't hurt the Ents. I think maybe when I first went to try and uh, beat up an Ent, maybe I was in, like, creative mode so it didn't hurt me. Now, I don't know. This guy looks like quite an old elephant. So... Okay, so uh, that's good. So, as you can see, I can't actually give him... The sugar cubes, which must mean <gasps> an albino horse. This is so rare. It's like a minus one percent chance of getting one of these horses as well. Damn, son. We at least it's quite close to home. Hopefully, we should be able to. Um, hopefully, he'll step. That that definitely looks like a little one over there. But it's getting really dark. Well, that wait was another. One? Wow, it's two of them. What the heck? Swear they're really rare. Maybe this is no. I'm pretty sure it's the white ones that are rare. That's crazy. Um, so we've almost got killed by an Ent, which was uh, interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I don't know how aggroed or how annoyed that guy's going to be at me and for how long, but hopefully not for too long, because I need to come back here and t try and tame myself another of the elephants. We're going to go back to sleep and sleep up while it gets uh, while it gets dark. It's getting really dark right now. I know even I can't see very much, guys. I'm just going to look up in the sky so you guys can actually see something that's a little bit brighter. We're almost home, dudes. Almost home again. Don't know when. I actually do want to do some fighting in the night time. I know I've been avoiding the night time a lot. Um, but there's scorpions and some really cool animals like golems and stuff that come out in the night time. But I actually really want to fight and get some cool loot from them. So I'm definitely going to do some night time fighting at some point. Um, just when I've like set it out as a mission and I'm not too close to home. Because when I'm close to home... Um, the fire dudes come out and will probably burn down my house because my house is made of a lot of wood Which isn't the best thing when there's fire things around unfortunately Okay, so elephants Let's go on to elephants elephants and mammoths and you know attack the player if they attack first. All right, so, oh, sorry Let's go out of here. All right elephant. I'm coming for you, bro. We've got ourselves a bear we've made a little bit of a home and Now we've got to get ourselves an elephant baby Hopefully the ants not still annoyed at us. <laughs> um, so two kinds of elephants and species. The larger elephant, the smaller is the Asian elephant. Um, uh, let's have a look. I'm 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 like 99% sure the elephants have to be small elephant, a baby elephant, to be tamed. Which is why that big fat elephant was just not having any of the sugar canes, man. He was he was hurt. I offered him the sugar canes. He's like, bro, I don't want your sugar canes. I was like, fine, <laughs> don't take it. Thought it'd be a nice little surprise. Taming elephants can be tamed, um, feeding the calves 10 sugar lumps or five cakes. So we have a perfect number of sugar lumps. Perfect. Um, here we go. Um, but they will only work when they are calves. When you've fed the baby elephant, and uh, name is going to appear. Hey, nice. Um, okay. They can be laid around with a lead. Awesome. Maybe we'll never need that rope, that item that I lost. I don't, maybe we'll never need it, you know. It's just annoying, but it's not in, not working in my mod for some reason. Oh, okay, dudes. We've been we've been on a taming mission. We've been traveling far and wide, finding animals nobody even knew existed. Oh, some more of this stuff. Let's go, baby. Um, be careful how you keep your elephant. Um. Okay, so scorpions that appear at nights are very um. Very susceptible to attacking uh, calves and elephants. So we've got to be careful when we're looking after them. Um, and that probably goes for all my animals, to be honest. I don't think my, z my zoo may need, like, a really high wall, to be honest. I think it may need... Um, actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to... 
don't know if I want to turn all of them into sugar cubes. You've got 10, which is supposedly the right number. That dude looks... Oh, there's another one over there. That other dude looks a bit bigger. This one looks like the right kind of size. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. I, w I was so worried that it wouldn't be ten. And it would be like a random number between like ten and twenty-five. But woo! We got ourselves an elephant and a panda. Gotta be Ellie. Gotta be Ellie. Bro, can I ride you? I can. Oh my gosh, this is where things get really fun, guys. This is where things get really fun. This is where I can actually... Um, make stuff for the elephant and actually like ride him put items on him elephants are the best dudes i think we're going to finish it here with the elephant if only we could have a panda with us at the same time as well uh i want to grab some awesome items for this elephant i also really want to go in the nether because we've never been in the nether yet but if you guys have enjoyed give it a thumbs up we can hit 10,000 again it'll be awesome check out our players for all the other episodes we got ourselves some awesome animals and i'll see you guys next time